take a look at uh, managing the property in stock and the inventory profile of specific items. So I'm going to do a search for all without uh, searching on specific in, um, uh, parameters, but there's lots of ways that you can search for the inventory. And also you'll notice there's a column here for labels and you can enter the quantity of labels that you want to print. So instead of uh, 20 there, maybe we want to print two and we, if we select these ones, and of course you can do labels during the receiving process as well, but if you needed to print extra labels, then you can come here and you can go ahead and let me just move this into the into view and you can go ahead and print the labels from here as well. So um, you can sort and filter by a variety of criteria. Each of the columns will sort in one direction or another. And we can filter and let's just filter, uh, we're looking for these drones. So we'll drill down to the detail and we can see quite a lot of information about that item that's been received into inventory. I'll click on the edit button so that you can um, see the things more clearly. And so you can see the item control number, the category and so on. If it is an F number, meaning that it's one of those common groups of, of property that um, uh, you'll put a lot of different items into, then you can actually assign it to an F number here, although you can do that during receiving as well. And um, we've got our quantity in stock. We've got nothing is reserved. Uh, we've got quantity donated is seven. So we had we had um, we had um, 25 of these, and the unit acquisition cost is a thousand. So we've got 25,000 as the total. And then this percentage of unit acquisition cost, we can uh, hard code that so it calculates it automatically. And of course, you can recalculate these at any time by uh, modifying the quantities of uh, the values in here. Uh, we've got the requisition number and so on. Um, if there are expenses, we can add expenses. I've already done a couple here, but um, uh, we can let's say let's say we, we delete this one and we want to enter it again for whatever reason. So uh, we can preset the values and have a quantity of those. Um, so let's say we do two, we clean two of these, then we have a thirty dollar fee, and those expenses will total here, but they'll be assigned uh, on a prorated basis to each of the items you sell from this quantity. Similarly with the delivery fee, the delivery fee you can record during the receiving process and it's prorated across uh, the transfer, um, you know, the uh, service charge amount for each of the items. Uh, you can record repairs, unit repair and the total repairs. And if it's a, a vehicle or an item with a, with a VIN or serial number, you can enter the data here. If it doesn't come from the GSA, sometimes they send stuff, sometimes they don't. Um, here we've uploaded uh, an attachment and I can pop here to uh, open up the attachment. I'm not going to do it because it's just a Word document. Um, so uh, you can add attachments that are associated with this item. This particular one would be an operating manual, for example. And over here we can upload images and you can see I've uploaded three images already. And if we click on here, we can pop up and get a slightly bigger. These are quite small images, but you can get a bigger, bigger view of the image. Um, and there's no limit to images and so on. And uh, interestingly, down here, you can look at the SF123 on which this item came in. So I'll just scroll around a little bit. And here you can see uh, the drones down here, in this section here. You can see that. And uh, and then you can also see the manifest on which it was received. So uh, let's just pop that down. So you can see the, uh, the drones up right here, the quantity and so on. So it's just a reference back if you need to. And then uh, one other thing you can do here is you can you can print the history of sales essentially or transfers of this particular item. So if I click on here and I can bring this into the into view, you can see um, that there's a list of the uh, invoice numbers and so on and it shows you the profile of what's in stock. So a very simple way to just manage uh, any changes that are necessary. One other thing is let's say that you open one of the boxes with these drones and one's damaged and you need to adjust inventory. So we can click on this little pencil icon here and we can say we've, we're going to take one out of inventory. So we'll do negative one and then we'll say maybe uh, broken, for example, uh, is the reason that we're changing the inventory. And then we can save that and we'll see that we've got 17 is now the adjusted quantity in stock and we've got negative one and so on. And we've got a record that we've changed that. So there's a history of any changes and you'll see the changes up here already as well as 17. And then we can just go, we can either print this if we want to. So we, 
so we've got a, a record of our, our of our adjustments sorry to have to move it around but we've got a small window here and, uh, and then go ahead and close this and then finally we can save this uh, so saving all of our changes Thank you.